Research on identification of resistance torque on the roller cone bit in the drill rod rotation drive by Victor Kilov from Naprovsky Technological University. A general view of the drilling rig manufactured by the Novo Kramatorsk machine building plant operated in the conditions of the central mining and processing plant is shown on the slide. It also presents a diagram of the formation and transformation of the flow of electromagnetic energy of the power supply system into a flow of mechanical energy on the cone of the roller. The roller cone bit is shown separately. The operation of the drilling rig is characterized by the transformation of the flow of electromagnetic energy coming from the power supply system into a flow of mechanical energy which is released in the form of non-production wear losses of the drilling tool and turns into useful work, which goes to the destruction of rocks and transportation of drilling fines to the wellhead. There is a problem of increasing the performance of a cone bit, since it wears out the most. The cutting structure and bit supports operate in an abrasive environment. During operation, the bit perceives high static and dynamic loads, and is also subjected to intense destruction from material fatigue and abrasive wear. The flow of rotational energy is directed not only to the destruction of the rock, but also to the destruction of the bit itself. There are kinematic and energy criteria for assessing the performance evaluation of a cone bit. The kinematic criterion tracks the bit speed or linear penetration rate per bit, which is an indirect indication of the wear of the cutting structure of the bit. The energy criterion of the cone bit performance evaluation allows you to directly track the state of the drill bit by tracking the integral indicators of the operating parameters during the drilling process. With this approach, it is necessary to control the resistance torque on the bit and the frequency of its rotation. Based on the energy approach for assessing the performance evaluation of the bit and in order to increase its performance by maintaining the power flow in the bottom hole zone. A method has been developed to control the drilling process, where hard mechanical characteristics are formed on the cone bit when driving soft rocks. And soft mechanical characteristics, in more durable rocks. The implementation of the developed method of controlling the drilling process leads to the need to measure, control and limit the permissible levels of the resistance torque on the cone bit. An induction motor is used as a motor in the roller bit rotator drive. The induction motor is a non-linear three-phase electromechanical object, which, provided that the phase impedances are equal in dynamics, can be represented by a two-phase model. The system of equations describing the dynamics of an induction motor in a two-phase DQ coordinate system, tied to the vector of the main flux linkage, has the form of four interrelated differential equations in the Cauchy normal form. The coordinate system is oriented in the direction of the main flux linkage vector which makes it possible to separately control the rotor flux linkage and the transverse component of the stator current. This allows you to synthesize a system with normalized dynamic parameters that controls the flux linkage and longitudinal stator current through one channel. And the rotor speed and transverse component of the stator current through another channel, a vector control system for an induction motor. With this approach, we obtain two quasi-linear equations that describe the dynamics of the induction motor, the block diagram of which is shown on slide 5. The problem of determining the resistance torque on the working body was researched using known methods for identifying external influences that are not available for direct measurement. First, the Leuenberger identifier was synthesized. It is made in the form of a mathematical model operating in parallel with the object of observation. 
which is described by the state vector of the object by a second order system into which a matrix of correction factors is introduced to ensure sufficient speed of the identification process. The elements of the correction matrix were chosen so that the zeros of the characteristic polynomial of the observer lay to the left of the roots of the characteristic polynomial of the observed object. In this case, the standard forms of the binomial and Butterworth distribution of the roots were used. In both cases, the coefficients of the correction matrix are proportional links. It follows from the conducted research that the Leuenberger A static observer allows to identify the resistance torques on the roller cone bit. However, it is necessary to fulfill the conditions that the resistance torque would not change during the transition process, which is practically impossible in the real drilling rig operation conditions. Next, an A static observation device was researched. In order to avoid the above drawback of the Leuenberger observer, we use an A-static observer. It differs from the Leuenberger observer by the presence of an integral term in the mathematical model, which takes into account the accumulation of errors caused by an external disturbance applied to the object to ensure sufficient speed of the identification process. The elements of the correction matrix were chosen so that the zeros of the characteristic polynomial of the observer lay to the left of the roots of the characteristic polynomial of the observed object. In this case, standard forms were used. 1. The binomial distribution of roots and 2. The Butterworth distribution. In both cases, two coefficients of the correction matrix are proportional links and one coefficient is an integral link. It follows from the conducted researches that an A-static observer makes it possible to identify the resistance torque on the cone bit that are not amenable to direct measurement, even if the moment of resistance is changing during the transition. Analysis of the efficiency of the method for identifying the resistance torque on a roller bit was carried out on the basis of simulation in the environment of the mathematical extension package. Simulink of the MATLAB system. The mathematical model takes into account the change of instantaneous values of output voltage of semiconductor converter with pulse width modulation full system of equations of asynchronous motor of the drilling rod. Discreteness of digital control system is 2 microseconds, voltage inverter frequency is 2000 Hz. Calculated plots of resistance torque identification on the roller cone bit using the A-static observer and the binomial roots distribution and the Butterworth 1's distribution. As shown in figure A and B, Correspondingly, figures C and D show the calculated graphs of the error in finding the resistance torque by an A-static observer with a binomial distribution of roots and the Butterworth distribution correspondingly. In all graphs, the torque amplitudes are shown in relative units. Torques are reduced to the rated motor torque M equals 580 kg times M. Conclusions 1. The disturbing influence from the load in the system of electric drive can be effectively restored by the observer, to which the signals of the supply voltage and current of motor. Beside it is necessary to introduce three corrective links, two of which have proportional and one has integral dynamic characteristics. At the output of the observer, a signal that is proportional to the ratio of the resistance torque on the working body of the drive system to the moment of inertia is explicitly allocated. 2. Identification of the resistance torque on the roller cone bit allows to realize the way of controlling the drive of the drill rod rotation when the mechanical energy constant flow on the roller cone bit is maintained by forming hard mechanical characteristics in the drive of the rotation when drilling in soft and broken formations and soft 
mechanical characteristics when drilling in hard, undisturbed formations that will increase the life of the bit.